Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is a uh, video that will um, is, is addressing both Windows 10 and 11. And the question is, what happens, what can I do if my PC gets really extremely slow, slow startup, everything seems to be sluggish, uh, when it was super fast and worked well before. So, of course, um, that... Uh, can be software that's running in the background. The first thing you should check for um, getting back speed is going to the task manager. And in the task manager, we will want to go to the startup tab and see what are the apps that are starting up with your PC. And do you want them? Do you need them? So disable everything that is not something you want. And by disabling it, you will able to get more speed. So for example here, uh, system for Android, subsystem for Android is anyways not going to work uh, anymore. So you can click one of those tasks and what you could do is uh, enable or disable the task. So you can disable the startup, which means that now it's not going to start with the PC again and run in the background. So do that with all the different software that you have. Of course, there are some that you will want to keep that started, like your antivirus, um, here in this case, uh, security health and system tray is a Windows Defender, all of that. Um, you will want to keep that running. But anything that is not necessary, what I would recommend is go slowly uh, and disable one or two at a time and then restart and see what happens. So there's that. You can, of course, clean up uh, temporary files. You can go into the storage and storage sense uh, in the settings. Um, with the uh, storage, you'll be able to check out um, you know, all the files, the temporary files you can remove and so on. But there's no magical um, thing that's going to clean your PC. And do avoid uh, downloading those PC cleanup software. They don't do much. They are useless. And the best thing when your PC really gets sluggish, if it's been a long time that you're on the same install, is a complete reinstall. So, you know, you download the image from Microsoft and you simply reinstall Windows from scratch. You can do it from within the operating system and say that you don't want to keep any apps. Uh, so you can use some of the options for recovery that exist within Windows if you want. Or use a USB thumb drive with an image of Windows 10 or 11, depending on what you have. And do a reinstall. There are videos on my channel about you know, installing Windows 10 and Windows 11. And, uh, or have a friend that knows his way around PCs. A reinstall, a clean install, is often the best option because it really, really will give you a fresh new copy of Windows that doesn't have anything wrong in it. It's going to work fine and it's going to be much faster. Often you get back the speed at which you were running before. Now, one thing to also check is how much RAM you have. One of the uh, things that is underestimated is RAM memory. And uh, in the performance tab, depending on the machine you have, how much RAM are you using? Uh, this is um, a good indication. Usually if you have four gigabytes, it's time to upgrade to more than that. If you have eight, it depends what you do. Eight could be enough for a lot of people, but uh, 16 is kind of the norm today. Buying a PC with 16 gigabytes is what you will prefer in general. And of course, if you're a gamer, if you're uh, really a power user, then you, know, you could go up to 32 or 64 gigabytes. It depends on what your needs are all about. But don't underestimate the fact that if you have a uh, really low amount of memory, that can also slow down your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.